Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Ardvan and for today I actually have something very special planned for you. I am going to be uh, giving you an overview of HIT, which stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And it's basically uh, what it is, it's uh, short periods of high intensity exercise. And it's something that um, I've started doing after quarantine, after like all the gyms closed down. Um, and I also like, I'm a student at Western, so I'm on a time, time crunch. <laughs> so this form of exercise is very efficient and you will feel the effects very quickly. And it also like helps you stay healthy and also to lose some weight if uh, that's one of your goals. Uh, but for today, uh, one of the forms that I, of HIT that I want to talk to you guys about is called Tabata. And what's very special about it is that you're working out for 20 seconds and then you're resting for 10 seconds. But you're doing this, of course, multiple times. Um, but during those 20 seconds, you guys need to give it like 95% to 100% of your energy. And um, there are going to be multiple exercises. Um, but for each one, you're going to do them for four rounds. So you're doing it four times. And for the exercises, there are going to be, um, because if you guys haven't done them before, if you haven't done uh, high intensity interval training, I would recommend uh, these exercises because they're basic and also um, there are easier versions of them available too. So you can like change it from like easy to moderate to hard, uh, whichever one is more comfortable for you. So for the first one, we have mountain climbers and for mountain climbers, what you're doing is you're getting in a push-up position, but instead of doing the good old push-ups, uh, what you're doing is you're bringing your knee um, up to your chest and then down. You're doing it one at a time and as, as fast as, as fast as you can. And uh, you're doing it for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and you repeat that four times. Next one, we have bodyweight squats. So you're sitting down and up and you're making sure that your kneecap is not like um, going over your toes. It's very important to um, prevent any strain on your knees. And for the third one, we have burpees. Um, so for this one, you're doing the you're doing one, a push up, and then you're bringing your legs up and you're giving all you've got to to jump. And then when you come back down, you get into the push up push up position and then you repeat the whole thing again. And so basically same thing goes for burpees, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and you repeat it four times. And lastly, we have push-ups. So you go all the way down and up, um, but try to make sure that your chest is touching the ground um, so that you could increase your range of motion and so that you can also develop your uh, pectoralis major and your triceps. And that's it for the list of exercises, but make sure before you start that you stretch and also warm up I'm gonna put the link for the stretch exercises that I made beforehand and also make sure to do a cool down afterwards too so that if like uh, you could prevent any like muscle soreness from these exercises. These are the references that I have for today's presentation. And so before I go, I wanted to let you know about an auction with Sick Kids Club at Western. Uh, this event is between February 21st and 28th. You're able to bet on a variety of options like jerseys and perfumes. Uh, it's for a very good cause and all the money goes towards research in developing new treatments for kids in need. And if you're not able to attend for this event, then please consider donating instead. Uh, we are very close to reaching our goal. Uh, we are almost halfway there and uh, we can use all the help that we can get. I will leave a link down in the description for all these events. And with that being said, um, thank you for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe so you wouldn't miss any of our new videos. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.